let's do this. All right, so here we go. This is a layout that I made. So there's two artboards here. On the left, we have what we're actually dealing with. And on the right, we have the legend. And I made four different colors representing four different ratios. First of all, over on the right here in the legend, we have the three to two ratio, which is typically used by DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. And that is represented over here by this right here. I'll show you what's underneath. These are actually just a photo uh, taken on a DSLR. And so if we take all of this away, you get to see that this is the actual picture. That all makes sense in a second. If we continue on, we have the four by three sensor. So this right here, the thing that's blinking right in the background, I can remove the front here. So this right here is the size of a stereotypical cell phone sensor. And then here's what happens once you start cropping, because that's what it is. You're gonna be cropping whenever you're using a one by one or a 16 by nine ratio. So this is the one by one. So that's a square Instagram style. And then this is video style. So now that you're aware of what a three by two sensor looks like in comparison to a four by three sensor on a cell phone, I'm gonna get remove that. So now we're not dealing with the DSLR. That was just for reference, just so you understand what's going on there. Again, the purple is the sensor here from the camera. Then if you turn on video mode and it crops in, there's a 16 by nine crop happening there. So you're gonna lose out on the pixels up top and below. And that's fine, you're shooting video. Um, there's also other times where that's fine, but now you know what's happening. As for when you shoot a square, this is what happens. You lose out on pixels on the left and right side of your picture. If you want the utmost quality and the most resolution, you're gonna be using a four by three ratio. That's as simple as that. Now, the reason I have these other layers in here is this. You can see that this was taken on a DSLR. You can see this right under there. Meanwhile, so I'll leave that layer off. Here is something that the phone would take up. So you would get everything except for what you see right there, right? That makes sense. And then with the 16 by nine, you would get this. So you wouldn't get what's on the outside. This is focal length aside. Typically you have a fixed lens or two lenses on your phone, but this is just dealing with one focal length. This is about the resolution and your megapixels. And this is what would happen on a square. So you'd get everything but the stuff on the side there. Actually, one second. I am going to go in here, I'm going to go. So as you can see, this is my camera and we're going to go over here. I'm going to just slam this against the window here. You can see my backyard. If I switch over to video mode, you'll see that it crops in. And we can switch over to four x three and get the entire sensor usage. And then we switch back over to 16 by nine. We lose the top and bottom of the sensor. And then switching over to square, we miss out on the left and right side of the sensor. Okay. And now we're back here. Maybe this will make more sense. So let me take the photos that I just took and put those into this template thing. Okay, now I'm gonna name these because I'm even getting confused. So this is a four by three one. And I'm gonna close that one down and I'm gonna go like this. So this is a one to one ratio. And finally, this is the 16 by nine. So if you were wondering, I guess I'll leave this uh, legend over here. You can actually see almost identical here what's happening. Let's just put the four by three underneath and you can see that I moved the camera just a little bit and I wish I hadn't of, but you can see that this is all three of these are on and they're in the same space. So this is a four by three image has the most data. It takes, it gets all the corners and it gets the wide and it gets the height of the square. So now let's turn on 16 by nine one more time. And you can see kind of the difference here. Do I have that cropped in here right? Yeah, I do. And uh, it's just a little bit of weird cropping and stuff. Maybe it's to do with st stabilization. But as you can see, it actually gets less information. Huh, that's weird. 
So that's that. And then you have the one to one. So this is the square. And again, it kind of crops in a little bit. So when you select anything other than a four by three ratio on your cell phone, you're not getting to use the entire sensor and therefore you're getting a little bit of actually extra crop, which isn't always that bad. Here's when it's not bad. When you're recording video, it's going to inherently actually just crop this. It's gonna go like that, boom, done. You can't really change that because video is typically recorded in 16 by nine ratios. You can crop afterwards, but then what's happening is you'll be cropping. Let me just do this. If you crop a 16 by nine video, this is what happens. You are suddenly only getting this much of the image. Like whatever's green right now, you're only getting that. So suddenly you're only using that much of the sensor. I don't know how many pixels that is, but it's a lot less. So what can you do about it? Well, you can just shoot four by three all the time and then you have all of the data you want, except for in video. Here's the thing, oh, whoops. <laughs> Here's the thing, you can shoot in any ratio you want. Your phone has it there so that you can use it. Now that you know what's happening when you click those buttons, maybe you'll change the way you shoot. I don't know, but now you know and it's in the back of your head. So when you go to shoot, you can choose whether to shoot four by three, 16 by nine or square or anything else that they come up with. I specifically shoot four by three almost all the time, but there are exceptions. There actually are a lot of times that I shoot square and not four by three. A lot of those times are when I'm posting to Kijiji, which is the Canadian Craigslist essentially. And what happens is they have square pictures and I want to just post them and not have them cropped afterwards and messed up. So I know that the final format is gonna be square. The only reason I'm taking those photos in the first place is because the end result of those photos is gonna be square. So why would I take them in four by three? I mean, there is, is there a reason? No, I don't, I don't think there is. So either way I shoot in square and then I upload them and everything's done. I don't do anything to, I'm, I'm getting rid of the thing. I don't need fantastic photos of this. I'm taking them on my phone anyway. And if I'm sending something in messenger, I actually usually send it in a square. So yeah, that's how to get the most out of your camera sensor. Now, I hope you learned something. And if you did, you should give this video a like. And if you wanna see more of my face, you can subscribe and I will go over more sporadically chosen things. I'll just keep on doing videos and explaining things. They'll slowly get better too, hopefully. You can click like right here and wait, right here? Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. That's probably where those things are gonna be. Um, these are some other videos that I've done. I don't know what I've, I'm gonna put there, but those are other videos that you can check out.